in person to visit his special. Both my grandfather and mother were friends of China and have worked tirelessly to nourish this ironclad friendship. I consider them to be among the earlier architects of this relationship. My father, during his presidency, also visited China many times and laid great emphasis on developing close ties. I would like to carry on their legacy and make sincere efforts to take our bilateral relations to greater heights. In our comprehensive and wide-ranging discussions today, we covered the entire uh, gauntlet of our bilateral relations and made fresh commitments to further deepen our unshakable bonds. We also discussed regional and international issues of mutual interest and assessed the challenges posed by common threats like economic slowdowns, COVID pandemic, climate change, food insecurity, and terrorism, which have a direct bearing on the lives and livelihoods of our people. We held close consultations on reinforcing political, economic, defense, and strategic ties between our two countries. We reiterated our commitment to bolster progress in the China Pakistan Economic Corridor projects, which have immensely contributed to Pakistan's socio economic transformation and livelihoods of its people. We have also held discussions on improving security and counter terrorism cooperation. I am thankful to China for its unequivocal support to Pakistan's sovereignty, territorial integrity, national development, and core interests. I also thank China for its commitment to enhanced economic engagement with Pakistan, especially in the areas of trade, investment, industrial development, infrastructure, innovation, and financial cooperation. I have also reiterated to the State Council that Pakistan is committed to one China policy and will continue to extend its full support to China on all issues of its national interest. We strongly condemn the heinous terrorist attack in Karachi on the 26th of April, in which we lost three Chinese scholars and their Pakistani driver. Your brothers and sisters from Pakistan offer their deepest condolences. Pakistan will not rest till the perpetrators of this heinous crime are brought to justice. I also assure you, on behalf of the government of Pakistan, that Pakistan holds the highest importance to ensuring safety, security, and protection. Chinese nationals, projects, and institutions in Pakistan. This was an attack on the Pakistan-China friendship, and we will not allow inimical forces to attack Pakistan-China brotherhood. We discussed the early phase of the return of all Pakistani students to China to resume their on-campus studies and make special arrangements for the return first batch of students, I would like to particularly thank the Foreign Minister for his positive response uh, on this topic that means so much to the people and students of Pakistan. Our two sides discussed ongoing regional and international developments. The situation in Afghanistan continues to pose a direct threat to peace and stability. The festering humanitarian crisis and threat to economic collapse have serious consequences, not only for the people of Afghanistan, but also for our region. The international community must not fall into the trap of confrontational geopolitics. Through dialogue and diplomacy, every problem can be solved, every dispute resolved. We must focus focus on win-win diplomacy to save the region and humanity at large from existential threats like climate change, pandemics, poverty, and hunger. The situation in South Asia and Asia Pacific poses its own challenges to long-term peace and stability. I also read from the State Council on the situation in the Indian, illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. 
and the latest assault by the Indian government on its internationally disputed status by trying to redo constituency the occupied territory through an illegal delimination process that changed the Muslim majority into a minority. And we thank China for its consistent and unwavering support in this dispute. We also reaffirmed our commitment to multilateralism with the United Nations at its core and our mutual efforts for peace, stability, and development in our region and beyond. As closest friends and staunchest partners, Pakistan and China enjoy a unique, unrivaled, and time-tested island brotherhood. Our bilateral relations are based on settled solidarity, trust, mutual respect, and mutual support. Pakistan is fully committed to working closely with China towards building a closer Pakistan-China community with shared futures in the new era. We hope to continue building on the momentum of high-level exchanges and we are keenly looking forward to helping the President back in Pakistan as soon as possible. I also look forward to hosting you, Mr. Councillor, in Islamabad at your earliest convenience. Long live Pakistan, China, friendship, Pakistan, China, Dosti, Zindabad. Thank you. 